It has been quiet on Lower Broadway without live music. And even as the city will start to reopen soon, it's going to be a while for the entertainment district to return to normal. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs talked to a local musician who's worried the financial strains of COVID-19 will continue. COVID-19 has closed the doors on many bars and restaurants here on Lower Broadway, but come a few weeks, musicians and performers tell us they will be singing a song about a new normal. Where's the money going to come from? Uh, how's this going to work? Sasha McVeigh went from singing on the stages of Nashville's famous honky tonks to her living room couch. It's been extremely different. <laughs> um, it's been Adjustment. Like many others, she had no job because of COVID-19. I mean, I burst into tears. Um, I mean, I held it together for, you know, maybe a couple of minutes or whatever, but then just that reality set in of what am I going to do? When Being self-employed, she had no other choice than to file for unemployment. I, mean, I don't know when we're going to actually see that money, but at least we know that at least, at least we know it's there. And as she prepares for the city to reopen, she says she can't help but to know it won't be the same for Broadway performers. It's just going to be a very different landscape. I think people are going to be very reluctant to take tip money um, just purely because you just don't know where that money has been. And speaking of money, she's worried the newly struggling downtown bars and restaurants won't have enough to pay artists. People are concerned that the base pay is going to be cut. And I mean, if you're already only being paid $40, Anyway, you can't really afford to take a cut. So McVeigh is trying to stay optimistic. I have no doubt that we are going to bounce back from this. I just don't know when that is. Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. Live performances in Nashville's Entertainment District are expected to open in the third phase of the mayor's plan.